Good morning. Welcome to Stick Mobility Live with Coach Debbie. <laughs> well, it's been over a month and I'm back. November is my month and this month's classes are featuring superficial lateral lines. So today, and just a really quick tidbit, you guys. Happy Veterans Day. So today's class is dedicated to all our veteran heroes out there. So happy Veterans Day and hope you guys are all doing well. So today's class, we're going to have the short stick and the tall stick. So we're just working single sticks today, but featuring short and tall. We're going to get our warm up started featuring the short stick. But if you have one long stick, that is fine. All these moves can be done with the long stick. So let's start just by taking a nice wide sport stance here. Soften those knees. You have a light grip on your stick. We're going to warm up with those three planes of motion. I want you to take an inhale and open up. And exhale. So the goal here is getting our spine prepared for movement. Let's do it again. Big inhale, open up nice and wide. Exhale. One more time. Inhale high, hold. Going into a lateral tilt, side to side. Just getting into that upper thoracic spine area. The movement is in the upper body. Start incorporating the breath. Let the breath assist you throughout all these movements throughout the class. So really strong focus on breathing. Here we go. Bring in that stick right in front of the chest. Again, you have a nice, just a light grip. Slow turn to one side. Nice and easy. I want you to focus on control. Just taking it nice and slow. One more time. Nice. And lower the stick. Stick is placed right in front of the hips, feet parallel, and you're pressing the stick just about 10% into your tops of your thighs here, right across the hips. Slowly start to hinge the body forward, just to 90 degrees, just easing into this, and then slowly unhinge, slowly come out. Let's do it again. Take a big inhale, exhale, start to hinge, Feeling that stretch more in the hamstrings. You're getting a little deeper, deeper range of motion here. And slowly, slowly come on out. One more time. Maybe go 10 to 20% deeper in that hinge. Big inhale and exhale. Take time to really feel the muscles that are stretching here and lengthening. You should be feeling it in the backs of the legs. Slowly, slowly unhinge, and then soften those shoulders. All right, taking the stick to 12 o'clock, we're gonna get into some lateral lines here. Medial and lateral, outside, here we go. Drive that stick right at 12 o'clock. So you're radiating into the floor, nice and strong, and this is what I like about featuring the short stick. You have access to these um, grip handles. That gives you a little better feedback. So drive, just about 20 to 30% drive. And I want you to start to just move into a lateral lunge, side to side, just getting nice and warmed up. Try to keep that stick center. Each time maybe getting a little deeper. So this is more of a dynamic move here, dynamic flexibility here, side to side. And bring it center. So gripping with one arm. So drive. Take a nice lateral lunge. I'm going to take it to my right. As I do so, I'm going to start to open the arm, same side. And then as I shift over, let the arm follow, feeling that right in that delt. 
You have to keep that stick strong into the floor. So the stick is moving simultaneously with my lower body movement. And bring it center. Now let's switch our grip, switch arms. We're gonna go opposite. So start to lunge and open. You're gonna get deeper right into the pectoral and then opposite, cross it over. Take it side. Take time to feel that right in that inner thigh. Feeling it right through that shoulder and tricep. One more time. Nice. And bring it back. Keep that same grip, same grip. We're gonna work simultaneously now, same direction. Drive, here we go. Start to open the arm. And then just move with it, flow with it. Big inhale, exhale. Take it center. Now let's switch the arms. We're working oppositional now. So we're lunging and opening. Here we go. Open, you're feeling it right through that bicep and pectoral more. Keep driving the stick into the floor. And switch, feeling that nice stretch in that delt and shoulder. And open. Let's do a couple more. And open and wrap. Nice. Bring it back center. Beautiful. One more warm up for our grip. We're gonna act, we're gonna strengthen our grip here because today with the lateral lines, we're gonna be doing a lot of brachiation moves, a lot of hanging moves, hanging monkeys. So you're gonna you wanna let's warm up our grip. So your grip is it's right now, it's just in the palms of your hands. Thumbs pointing out, and we're gonna push the stick together as if we were shortening it, and then pulling the stick apart. So nothing too crazy. I want you just to think maybe 20 to 30% tension here. So just let the arms open, get a nice strong grip, and on my count, I want you to push. One, two, three, push. So you're activating your anterior chain here. Keep that strong grip. One, two, three, now pull. Opening up through that posterior chain. Feeling it in that back. Let's do it again. One, two, three, and push. So you wanna really significantly feel this. Maybe you've, you've got a little stronger, 30 to 40% tension. One, two, three, and pull. Pull the stick apart. Act as if you're trying to just pull it in two pieces. One more time, one, two, three, and push. One more time, pull, and release. We're gonna switch our grip, so palms facing down, one more. This time, bring the stick right to chest height. Palms are facing down. Keep those thumbs and fingers connected. <clears throat> Doing the same thing. Think 30 to 40% tension now. One, two, three, and push. So you're feeling it right in those paths, biceps. Get ready to pull. One, two, three, pull. Pull the stick apart. Keep that pull activation, keep it. Keep pulling, and then I just want you to raise the stick right above the head. And one more time, one, two, three, and push. You're gonna feel it in the shoulders a bit more. One more time, pull, and pull. As you keep that pull activation, slowly, slowly lower that stick right back to chest height. Keep that pull, lower it right in front of the hips. And we're gonna do one more push, one, two, three, Push, keep it strong, and release, nice. 
So we worked our grip activation just to prepare for a lot of our hanging moves. All right, grab your taller stick. If you're already with the taller stick, you're ready. <laughs> we're going to do a couple little hanging moves and then we're gonna start working into some strength. All right. One thing I want you to think about for your strength is if you have, and I should have told you this at the beginning of class, you don't need it, but if you have a dish towel handy, um, we can get deeper into some of these leg works that we're gonna do working as a glider. And we will be working with the anchor point. So start scoping out in your area where you're gonna be able to anchor the stick. All right, here we go. <laughs> Inhale, stick comes high. And start to just do a little wall slide, just slowly, right behind the head and neck. Open those arms to what I call scarecrow. So, just resting, the feedback is in the palms of those hands, just resting those arms on top. Elbows are softened, so you're not too full extension. Keep the elbows softened. We're gonna start to just tilt side to side. Just alternating this for a few reps. Take it side to side. So here we go. We're opening up those lateral lines a bit. Right here, you're feeling it right in that lateral line. One more time. Now this time, guiding that stick down, taking it down right to the right or left, whichever way you're working. Take it to the side. Now, with that top hand here, I want you to slowly, slowly guide the stick down until the end of the stick connects to the floor. We are going to go into a little hang. So your, your grip is up high and it's just start to slide down. So really opening up this lateral line and a little brachiation move. From here, Think about that inside leg, either hold it here. I want you to open the chest a bit. Either hold it here. If you feel you wanna go deeper, just start to bend that inside knee. It's just gonna take you into that hang a little bit deeper. Breathe. Slowly come out of that bended inside knee. Now the outside leg, I want you to start to bend and you're going into a lateral lunge. If you need to adjust your stance a little wider, adjust. Keep pressing that stick right into the floor. Breathe. Slowly come out of it. That load is in that outside foot. One more time, bending at that inside knee. Release and lateral lunge. Breathe. And slowly, slowly come back out. Soften those knees coming out of this lateral tilt here. Be mindful of this and slowly, slowly lift. Nice. Let's just get a little mobility, shoulder mobility before we move to the other side. So let's just make a few little circles for me, or big circles. Getting those shoulders lubricated here. Let's roll it back. Roll it back like you're doing the backstroke. All right, here we go. Let's take it to that opposite side. So start, feedback is in the hands. Start leverages here. Start pressing the stick down into that tilt. Get to where you feel you've hit your range in that tilt. Top hand starts to just guide the stick down. Take your time till it connects right with the floor. Rip is at the top and just open. Take time to feel that opening. Breathe. Inside leg, inside knee first. Start to bend. What's happening here is you're getting deeper into that hang. Opposite leg, outside leg, starts to move into a lateral lunge. Flow with it. 
You should be feeling it in that adductor here, right there. And slowly come out. We're gonna do that one more time, adjust. Bend that inside knee, hang. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, flow to that opposite side. Load is in that outside foot, guide yourself out. Now remember, soften those knees, come out with control, slowly lift out of that tilt. Nice, beautiful, slide those arms in. We're gonna go into a split stance hanging move. And I'm gonna show the first one to you sideways. So just again, using the single stick, it's gonna open up our hips, it's gonna go kind of work into that frontal line, but it's gonna open up also the lateral line in the upper body. So taking a split stance here. So I have my left leg forward right back. You wanna just mirror me here. Your placement of your stick, if you line it up with the inside of your thigh, hello Ruby, and move it out about a foot, you're gonna reach up, strong grip, strong grip. Facing forward, you're in a lunge position. We're getting ready to hang. Back knee, take a big inhale. Exhale, Dorsey flex that back foot and Move into that hang, move into that hang. So you're feeling that hip opening up here. And you're opening up this whole lateral line, feeling in the lats, triceps, and just hang. Slowly ease out. We're gonna stay on the side for one more rep. We'll progress it a little bit. Strong grip again. One, two, three, and hang. Maybe you get a little bit deeper in that hang. I want you to slowly reach over with that outside hand. You're going into a little bit of a twist here. Back foot comes down as if you were in a warrior pose. Light grip. From here, I want you to pull that arm slightly behind your rib cage. Opening up. Try to drive forward a bit deeper here. And just hold. Let's slowly wrap it around. Come back, dorsiflex that back foot, back to your hang. Push your body weight forward and ease on out. Nice. Let's get the opposite side. So this time, I'm gonna show it to you from the front. So opposite leg, split stance. You wanna line that stick up with the inside of your adductor here, your inner thigh here. Move it out about a foot. Strong grip. So get ready for that hang. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, start dipping at that knee and just hang. Just focus on what your body's feeling here. Where do you feel that lengthening? Where you feel it is where you need it. Ease on out. Shake it out. We're gonna go again. This time we'll add a little progression. So drive that stick in. On the breath, inhale. And exhale. With my outside hand, I'm just gonna slowly reach over, light grip. My back heel comes down as if I'm doing a warrior pose, which I am, which you are. <laughs> Hold that strong grip up high, and now start to guide the stick right back past your rib cage, and you can follow it. Now I'm gonna push my body weight forward so I can get a little deeper. Deeper into that pose. Breathe. 
And now slowly wrap it back around. Back to that hang. And ease on out. Nice job. All right, we are going in to our strength portion of the class. I want you to grab, and it's gonna open up, we're gonna do a little leg work. If you don't have one, that's fine. I have a towel, if you're on carpet, paper plates are good for gliders, but you don't actually need this, it's an option, okay? So we're just gonna do a little bit of work. So having left leg forward, right back, whichever way you're working here. So one foot is on, outside foot is on the glider. And I want you to just start to glide that leg back into a lunge. Drive that stick in, just reach back that leg and slowly come up. Let's do two more. Glide it back and up. One more time. And up, nice. All right, we're gonna switch the stick over now. Switching the stick over to the opposite hand. We're gonna go into a curtsy lunge and we're gonna hold it there for a little bit of a hang that's gonna get into the IT band area. Drive. Just start, if you have a towel or a glider or paper plate, just kinda get that hip moving a bit here. And then I want you to start to, inside leg, start to go into like a curtsy lunge. All right, move into a curtsy lunge. Go into that hang, take it deep, and just hang. Hold it, hold it. I want you to reach that one arm forward, that outside arm forward. Start to turn, you're getting deeper. Feeling it right in that hip area. Top of the IT band there. And slowly come back. Lightly grip. And come on out. Nice. We're gonna take a lateral lunge or a lateral glide. Keep the stick where it's at, drive. And start to open out to the side and come in. This is just a little bit of work. I want, it's, it's a flowing movement. Take it out, drive it in. One more time. And there you go. Switching sides, only the leg. Keep the stick where it is. Drive. We're gonna start with that back glide or back lunge. Here we go. Leg comes back and drive it. You're gonna feel this in the quad. Let's do two more. Keep that stick strong into the floor. And bring it back. Switching the stick to the opposite side. We're going into that curtsy lunge. And then that stretch, hold on here, drive. Just go ahead, do a few circles. And start to take that leg back, move into this, ease into this. And go right into that curtsy lunge here. Outside arm reaches. And start to open. Getting deeper, watching my top grip here. My top grip is actually going to move as I turn. It's going to turn as my body turns. And slowly, slowly come back. Ease on out. One more for a lateral glide here. There we go. So keep that drive. And you're going to open and glide the stick in. Just a little strength movement here, working that adductor. One more time. And ease on out. Nice. Okay, finding an anchor point. 
We're gonna prepare for bow and arrow, another great lateral line move with stick mobility. It's our signature move. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> but we're gonna start with finding an anchor point. So I'm going right into my couch here. If you've got a wall, close by, baseboard, find your anchor point and drive it in. You're at the end of the stick. Your grip is right at the end here. Take it to 12 o'clock, so it's center here. Your body's right in between there. You're gonna take a split stance though, starting with, so if your stick is in your right hand, your left leg is forward, oppositional here. You're gonna drive that stick right into that baseboard. Drive, arm is straight. So this is strength. I want you to work time under tension. Think at least, I would say 50 to 60% drive here. Drive. Keep that drive. Don't let go of that drive. And start to open the stick out to the side. You're going to feel that right through the bicep and the chest. Push your body weight forward. Slowly bring the stick up. And now you're gonna cross it over the chest. Feeling that twist, working that lateral line. You'll see this even more when I switch sides. Hold. And one more time. Open. Keep drive, the key here is keep that strength, pushing that stick into the baseboard or wherever you're anchoring it. Bring it up high. And now cross it over. Nice. And come back to center. Drive, ease on out. Switch your stance. So right leg is forward here, left grip. Get yourself ready. Remember you're right in between, 12 o'clock. Drive, drive, drive. Take a big inhale. Exhale, open. Again, focus is more in that bicep area, that pectoral, but drive. Raise the stick up, keep that, keep that strong. Now slowly cross it over. You have to keep that strong connection. Bring it back up high one more time. Open the arm out wide. Maybe go deeper into the lunge. Bring the stick back up, wrap it over. Here we go, the lateral line is feeling this. Breathe, come back up high, ease on out, beautiful. All right, bow and arrow. And then we're gonna work on the floor a little bit and do some core work for our finisher. Taking the stick, right to three o'clock. So your inside arm is right where the sticker is, 90 degrees here. Drive that stick in, it's maybe about 10, 12 inches away from that foot. With that opposite arm, reach up. Drive the stick into the floor. This is bow and arrow. To prepare for it, you need to shift your hips out laterally. With the breath, Take a big inhale, exhale, and activate. Now this is your first one, and if you're new to this, just ease into this. These sticks, especially if you have a new stick, it won't be as pliable. You're gonna have to really, so don't overdo it. Ease on out. Let's do this again. Drive. Hips come to the side with the breath, big inhale. And exhale, I'm going deeper into this bow and arrow. And just hold, hold, hold. Explore this. If you're pulling with that top hand, pressing with that inside hand. Slowly, slowly come on out. Nice, and shake it out. Let's hit that opposite side. 
drive that stick in. And just a little tip here, if you need, if this is too close, if it's too close to your foot, it might be harder to activate. The further away the stick is from that foot, you're probably gonna get a better full range, especially if you're new to bow and arrow. So drive that stick in, reach up, top hand drives, hips shift out with the breath inhale and exhale activate. We have one more that will be able to challenge our range. You can see my bottom arm is, still has a little slight bend in that elbow. Ease on out. Shake it out. Let's go again. Drive. Hit shifts, shift the hips. Take a big inhale, exhale, and let's go deeper into that bow and arrow. And just hold. Hold, hold, hold. And slowly, slowly come on out. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna get into the core, have a seat, and I'm switching to my short stick, but all of this work absolutely can be done with the tall stick. I'm just gonna highlight these exercises with the shorter stick. So take a seat, we're going into dead bug. <clears throat> Come into a nice little V sit here. So pressing the top of the stick, so I have my hands on the grips here. Pressing this, this stick into the top of the thighs. Right here, press. Now slowly with control, I want you to just, just as you roll back, the stick starts to roll down the thighs a bit. Roll down nice and slow with control. This little Pilates stuff going on here. Draw navel in and bring those legs to tabletop. Rest the head and neck. Rest the head and neck. Push that stick into the tops of your thighs. I want you to take the right leg and extend it out 45 degrees. Push that lower back into the mat and draw the knee back in. Let's alternate, extend. As you're doing this, think about imprinting your lower back into the floor here. So draw that navel in, imprint. Reach, come on back one more time, reach. And hold. We're gonna do a little windshield wiper here, both knees, you're gonna sweep both knees to the right. Now if you have a tall stick, it's gonna connect with the floor right away. That's fine, I don't want you too deep in this. That top leg, I want you to extend, extend. And bend back, come back to center. Opposite side, windshield wiper over, top leg extend. Come on back, back to tabletop. One more time, push the lower back in. Windshield wiper over, extend that top leg. Lateral line here. And bring it back. One more time. Opposite side, and extend. Come right back to center. And go ahead and just release the feet. Go ahead and just loosen it up a bit. We're gonna do one more dead bug, a little differently. Bring those legs back up to tabletop, taking your stick. Now again, tall six fine two, short stick here. I want you to push the bottom of the stick into the top of one foot, okay? Hand and arm is parallel straight up, stick is horizontal, and go ahead and extend opposite leg, opposite arm reaches behind. We're gonna do four reps, push that lower back. This is work, this is core work. Here we go, knee meets the arm. Let's extend, two, with control, 
three, push lower back into the mat, keep that connection, and connect, nice. Grab the stick, switch sides. Get yourself nice and ready for this movement, set it up, extend the leg, arm comes behind, here we go. There's one, extend, and two. Doesn't look like much, but a lot of people are surprised at how this is actually really hard work. Controlling these muscles in this movement. Come on back. And then go ahead and bring the stick like you're gonna do a chest press. And slowly bring the stick behind the head and neck from here. You have a light grip, just pull the stick apart a bit. And just go ahead and windshield wiper both knees just to one side, not all the way. And then take it to the other, getting into the obliques a little bit. One more time. Nice. We're gonna roll up to sit. So pushing the stick right into the tops of the thighs, or if you just wanna roll to one side, come up right to sit. From here, I'm taking you into a 90-90 stretch. So with the 90-90, you have that one leg is 90 degrees front. You to line it up, I would take the stick just to get the placement of the knee and the foot, and then an opposite right here, 90-90. Now, if you have really super high, tight hips, and I do, I'm a cyclist, so this is not an easy position for me. If this is just too much, you can have one leg extended, just like that. All right, from here, we are gonna go into what is called mermaid. So. Tall stick or short stick? The tall stick, it's gonna be a little bit different because you've got more to work with, but your grip is, is right about chin height. I want you to open up the stick and take it to the outside, the, the back leg that's bent here. Reach that arm out, drive that stick in. Opposite arm, slowly come up and over, bring the stick to you to meet it, and this is a mermaid stretch. You're feeling it in that lateral line here, but you're also getting into those hips. Driving that stick in. To go deeper, you would lift the stick a bit and extend the end of it out a little wider. And just hold. Breathe. And slowly bring that stick up. From here, you're gonna twist and turn to that front leg and just hold for a moment. And then I want you to start to take a little bit of a hinge. Come back up and back to center. Let's switch sides. So bring the legs forward. Shake it out. Again, this is, if you have tight hips and glutes, this is gonna, you're gonna feel this one, but we need to work these 90-90s as much as we can. So here, front leg bent 90-90, so it's too much, maybe just have that leg that extended, just to support. So here we go, mermaid. Reaching the stick up high, tilting over, you're tilting to the side of the back, Bent leg here, right here. We went right into that mermaid. <laughs> and feel that stretch right in that lateral line here. Drive the stick in. To get even deeper, you could push the stick out a little further. <sighs> Keep the chest open. Breathe. Slowly, slowly come back up. We are going to rotate and turn, and just hinging forward just a few inches, not too deep. Slowly come back up, and center, and place that stick to 12 o'clock. Nice job. Go ahead and just shake out those hips, thighs, 
Like I said, if you've got tight hips, you're gonna, that's not going to be the most comfortable um, position or move for you. That's something that you might have to just work up to, but anytime I tell people they're feeling cramping, just let it go, okay? All right, here we go. We're going to get into the lateral lines, right into the sternocloid mastoid of the neck, the scalenes, and the trapezius. This is gonna be good if you have like, you know, tension going on, tension headaches. We carry, a lot of us carry our stress right in here or in here, both. My work is here, my family's here. <laughs> That's what I've been told by my massage therapist, which I highly, highly recommend. We need to take care of our bodies and that's one of the beauties of working with stick mobility. We are taking care of our bodies so we can move better. So with that being said, one of our final moves is the lateral lines in our neck. So I'm gonna work with the short stick. You can do this with the tall too. Bring that stick, I'm gonna show you, right behind you. And I want you to stand nice and tall. Legs are together, or close together, parallel, feet parallel. Drive that stick down. I want you to think about putting those shoulders in your back pocket, okay? So we're not hunched over, we're pulling back, shoulders and back pocket. Arms are parallel. Light grip, light grip. This is going to be, like I said, for the neck, lateral lines in the neck. So we're going to take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, just turn your head to one side. Go slow, go slow. You're gonna definitely, the target muscle is that sternocloid mastoid scalene area right in there. Little, just a little anatomy, but side of your neck. <laughs> just feel that, focus, and slowly come back up. Shake it out. Let's take it to the other side. Extend those arms down, shoulders back pocket, and go into that tilt. Yes, never to the point of pain, just to your range. Breathe, and come back center. All right, we're gonna take this, and the target is gonna be in the trapezius area, all right? That it's attaching into our neck here too. So extend down. This time, I just want you to turn your head to one side, looking to the corner, to the corner. From here, just start to dip your chin down towards your chest. You're feeling this right in that trape upper trapezius area. Slowly look up and bring it center. Shake it out. This is a subtle move, but it is a great stretch. We don't stretch our necks and we have to be careful with our neck stretches too. So arms come down, shoulders back pocket, opposite side, look to the corner. Now start to dip the chin down. Yes, you should be feeling this right back here. Breathe. Lift the chin up and then go ahead and look center. Nice job. One more time, just a lateral tilt. Drive down. Let's tilt the head to one side. Now this time, I want you to dip the chin down. You're gonna get, it's gonna feel a little deeper. Slowly roll the chin right to the chest, center of the chest. Slowly roll to the other side, take your time. And then take it back to that tilt. And come on out. Nice job. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tall stick. And we're gonna end with a standing rest pose. So like, I'll be here for the next two weeks featuring more lateral line exercises, strength, lengthening, 
just overall mobility. So let's take that stick to 12 o'clock. Let everything go soft. Your grip is soft, knees are softened, hips, shoulders. Think about softening your jaw, cheeks. I want you to let all the tension out of your body. With the breath, take a slow inhale through the nose, pull the stick into your body. Inhale. As you exhale, pull the hips back, reach those arms forward, look right between those arms, soften those knees, and you're going to nice spine stretch. Feeling it in the backs of the legs too. Just hold it there for a moment. If you want to add a little movement, just exploring different areas in that back and the backs of the legs, feeling that. To come out of this, soften those knees. I want you to pull the navel into your spine, getting a little C curve, get more of a C curve, Focus on making that shape and ease on out, bone by bone. Nice and easy. All the way to the crown of your head. And we are done. <laughs> nice job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed class. Um, we have all these classes on our YouTube page. And of course, they live here on our, our IGTV page too. Again, my name is Debbie Gleason. You can follow me at Debbie F, as in Frank Gleason. And I'll see you next Thursday at 9 a.m. live. And again, dedication to all those heroes out there, all our veterans. Thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for the service you do for our country, have, uh, or have done, or still doing. Have a great day.